we present Event Cap, the first 3D motion capture method using a single event camera. Our goal is to capture fast motion in very high temporal resolution, which is essential for many applications such as sports training. Previously, this was only possible with high-speed cameras. In this paper, we leverage the biology-inspired concept of an event camera that asynchronously measures the intensity changes at extremely high temporal resolution, resulting in a novel algorithm that is 30 times more data efficient than conventional methods. Our method can capture high-speed human motion at a temporal resolution of 1000 frames per second. Our method relies on a scanned template model of the actor, as well as the hybrid input from the event camera, including a low frame rate intensity image stream and an event stream of extremely high temporal resolution. Our motion capture pipeline consists of three stages. First, we track sparse event patches in an asynchronous manner, based on the hybrid input from the event camera. Then these patches are aligned to compose spatiotemporal event trajectories. Second, we formulate the motion capture as a batch optimization problem, where we jointly optimize for all the tracking frames in a batch. We fit the skeletal motion to the event trajectories in a batch, as well as to the CNN-based body key point detections from the low frame rate intensity images. Finally, we refine the pose estimation by fitting the human template silhouette to the event stream. Now we show more tracking results. For evaluation, we captured a new dataset consisting of 12 sequences of six actors performing fast and challenging motions. Note the severe motion blur caused by fast motions. Based on only the hybrid input from a single event camera, our method captures the high frequency motion details accurately. Our approach can also handle challenging and fast human motion. Note the high frequency motion details captured by our method. Also note that our reconstructed results are plausible in three dimensions. Our method generalizes well to a variety of motions, like kicking and punching, as well as boxing. Note that our approach achieves realistic tracking results, which overlay nicely on the captured view. Also note that our reconstruction results accurately match the high frame rate images captured from a reference view, which is not used for tracking. Our approach can even capture the challenging motion of a ninja in a black suit, outdoors and at night. While it is difficult for the human eye to spot the actor even in the reference images, our approach still yields plausible results. Here we show more results. Note the challenging image blur caused by the original fast motion. Our approach can achieve accurate overlay in the 2D images and can even recover the fine motion details in 3D.
we compare our approach to previous work. Here, we compare to existing monocular image-based methods, HMR and MonoPerfCap. For fair comparison, we apply these methods on the 1000 FPS latent images reconstructed from the event stream. Note that both previous methods suffer from jitter and inferior tracking results due to the accumulated errors of latent images. We further apply MonoPerfCap and HMR only on the low frame rate intensity images and then linearly upsample the skeleton poses to 1000 frames per second. Note that such linear upsampling based methods fail to recover the high frequency motion details. In addition, we apply the two baseline methods to the RGB images captured using a high speed camera. Note that our method does not rely on the high frame rate RGB images and uses much less data bandwidth compared to the reference based methods. Our approach achieves comparable tracking accuracy and overlays better onto the reference view. In addition, we evaluate each component of our framework. We first evaluate our method without the batch optimization or the pose refinement. Note that the results of a full pipeline overlay more accurately onto the latent images. Our batch optimization significantly alleviates the drifting problem of the tracking, while the refinement stage further corrects the remaining misalignment. Here, we further evaluate the influence of the person-specific template mesh. We compare to using only the simple model obtained from image-based body shape estimation at the first tracking frame, denoted as without pre-scan. Note that even without the person-specific template, our method still yields comparable post-tracking results. However, the template can improve the accuracy of the image overlay in the silhouette-based refinement stage. Thank you for your attention.